everybody. Good morning. We are live and local, as you said, Craig, right here at Rush Cycle. It is time to hurry up. We want to feel the rush. Live and local coming up next. Much 548 right now. There's a new gym in town offering up a new way to work out. Yes, Rush Cycle is now open in Colorado Springs, and right now, Lauren McDonald live and local to check it out. Lauren, good morning. Good morning, guys. Cycle Colorado Springs. Yes. You guys just opened up. Correct. We just opened on December 18th. So tell everybody what Rush Cycle is. It's not your typical spin class. No, we are an indoor cycling studio, but what we offer is a 45 minute cardio burn and it's a high intensity interval ride. Uh, but where it differs is that we also incorporate the use of dumbbells. So we're targeting the arms, shoulders, uh, biceps, triceps, and we also incorporate a lot of time out of the saddle, which works your core. So we really focus on a, a core strength exercise. Right, I like that. You're getting a full body workout. Ashley, definitely. you're the head lead instructor here, yes. right? So I you am. make people feel the rush, feel the burn, whatever you want to call it, right? Yes. So tell me about the experience, because we heard the technical, okay, this is what it is, these are the facts. You're going to go in here, though, and it's not going to feel like you're really working out. Exactly. So you're going to... You can go to a standard spin class and you're going to sit there and you're going to bike and you're going to get a good workout. But one of the things that we pride ourselves at here at Rush is the overall experience between the lights and the music and riding to the rhythm of the beat. And then we also pride ourselves on a sense of community. It's not just come in here, work out, go home. Like we really want everyone to feel welcome here and there's a place for everybody. Very so cool. it's super awesome. And Josh, probably a big reason why you wanted to open up here in Colorado Springs. It is, yeah. We really wanted to find a business or have a business that had a positive impact on the community. And with Rush, we're able to develop a real sense of community amongst the riders and it's a very positive and encouraging place to come and work out. Very cool. Cool. Well, I'm ready this morning. Yes. You ready to teach me? Let's do it. All right, guys. We are going to feel the rush line a little here at rush cycle, rush cycle all morning. So you might be able to see me sweat a little bit. Hopefully, I won't die by won't the time it's over. Didn't die getting here this morning, though, although the roads are pretty bad. So, guys, make sure you watch out, especially up north. All right. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks. She's our little southern belle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the the roads. Snowy roads slow her down a little bit. <laughs> 551 right. Good morning, everybody. Coming up after the break, it is time to clip it and rock out. We are live and local from Rush Cycle. Coming up next. New you workout plan yet? Well, you may want to check out a new local gym. Yeah, right now, Lauren McDonald is live and local at Rush Cycle to get the scoop on spin. Lauren? Good morning, Craig and Abby. Guess what? You're not going to believe this, but by the end of the morning, I'm going to be able to dance on a bike. What? Can you believe that? What? Right. <laughs> wait until you see. Just wait. Mark my words. Here, live and local at Rush Cycle with Ashley and Josh. We're talking about cycling on steroids, really. You know, you think of your typical cycling class at the gym, it's really going to pump up the energy, Ashley. There's going to be a lot of uh, light. You're going to feel like you're not in the cycling studio, but more like you're in the club. Yes. Right. So what do you wear to a class like this? So you really want to wear lightweight, moisture-wicking clothes because one thing is for sure, you're going to sweat a lot. Yes. Sweat a ton. So make sure you hydrate as well. You want to sweat, not smell. Exactly. I like that. Yes. No one likes the smell bike mate. That's right. Now leggings are going to be better. Yeah. Generally speaking, it's whatever you're most comfortable in. Most people wear leggings and sports bras or tank tops or most guys wear long shorts. Um, it's really whatever you feel most comfortable in when you're in here. Right. Josh, you are the owner. You guys opened up here about a month ago. Yes. And shoe fit, also very important. Yes. So this, the indoor cycling shoe is a lot like any other uh, cycling shoe. It'll fit normal uh, in regards to a sneaker, um, but it'll be a lot stiffer. Uh, and the big thing for us is they will need to have an SPD clip, so we encourage anybody that comes and rides that can bring their own shoes, uh, but it will need to have an SPD clip in order to be compatible. If they don't have their own shoes, we have plenty of them to rent, so Right. Whatever's comfortable. Clip in and rock out, right? I'm going to suit up, get my shoes on right now because I'm actually going to take this class live in local. Now, tell me, Ashley, for those who have never been to a spin class or they say, you know what, I don't really enjoy spin that much. What are you going to say to them? I was exactly that person. And every person that's in this room has always been 
it's always been their very first time at some point. And so we have things for brand new riders, advanced riders, elite athletes. There's something for everyone here and it's just one big community and it's super supportive. And so it can be intimidating at first, um, but once you get here and you feel like the love around you, mm -hmm. um, it totally goes away. Feel the love, yes. I like it. Pedal, breathe, believe. That is what I'm gonna do this morning. Live and local, suiting up my shoes, guys. Next time you see me, I'll probably be on the bike and a little bit sweaty, but we're gonna get after it this morning. Feel the love, Lauren. <laughs> I'm feeling it, Craig. Feel it. Hey, by the way, I'm glad you were I always am. Yeah, I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm glad you and Abby survived the uh, snowstorm of uh, 20, 2018 yes. so far with your with your crates of wine you had to go get at the store. I know. Yeah. That's a key. That's a key to surviving snowstorms. So <laughs> people storm stock up on milk and eggs. No way. These wine, two. Right. We take care of the wine. Cases of wine. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite a few bottles were bought. Just a couple. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Very sweet. 720 right now. If your workout routine is already getting boring, we have something new. Right now, Lauren McDonald is live and local at Rush Cycle now. She is coming up in just a bit. There she is working hard. Woo, feeling the love and thumbs up. More with Lauren coming up here if she survives this. <laughs> yeah. It's next. Fox Morning Local News right now. It's time to turn the lights down and the music up. Today we're taking a look at a new local gym. Right now, Laura McDonald live and local taking a spin and learning how to feel the rush. Lauren, good morning. Come on, talk to us, so girls. Come on. I love it. We're going to save you. She looks tired. Wow. Talk about a part. <laughs> The people here at Rush Stuff will do live and local. We're giving you a little window. Here with Josh. You're going to show everybody how this is done. Yes. Right, how to actually ride the bike. Yes. Fit is important when it comes to the bike. Making sure that the bike is, uh, the seat is at the right height, the handlebars are correctly positioned for your body, and right. then proper form once you start riding. Once yes. you start riding. Yeah. Ashley, lead instructor, is going to help us out with the form because. It helps you with the rhythm too, I've noticed. Definitely. When you have the right form, right? Yes. All right, so Josh, you're going to hop on the bike. Up, it all size, first right. starts with um, the sizing of the bike. So what you want to do is the saddle should be right around hip height, so right up here. So we'll go ahead and get that adjusted for him. Um, and this goes for if you ride a bike at a gym or if you yes. ride a own stationary bike at home. Correct. Got to make sure. Go ahead and hop on. You're all square when it comes to the fit. And then the next thing that you want to do is make sure you clip in. And then we also want to go ahead and make sure the handlebars are at the right height. Proper form and perfect fit um, is the baseline for an awesome workout here. Um, if you don't have the right fit, it's just not going to work out for you. Okay, awesome. All right, so we've got a minute left. So once we get the bike set, you guys are going to demonstrate a couple yes. of things. Right? Yeah, so some of the basic moves in terms of riding out of the saddle, you just come up, you want to be elongated, you want to have your hands out, loose, your hips back over the saddle, kind of this elongated position, elbows loose, um, basic moves, tap backs, so you literally just tap your hips back, your butt kind of taps the saddle, and then there's also the basic push-up. Um, so when you go forward, push it up, um, and then you can do combination moves, tap back push-ups, and a whole bunch of other things, but those are the those are the basics. The coolest thing about this whole thing, if you like to dance, yes. you're gonna feel like you're dancing on your bike. Absolutely. Set to a playlist, right? Yes. So each instructor has a different playlist? Yes, we have seven different instructors. All are awesome. Everyone has their own vibe and personality. Each one has their own music genre that appeals to them. And so you'll definitely get a different experience with every single person. Very cool, Ashley and Josh. Well, you guys have created an extra special class for me this morning, right? Typically they're 45 minutes, guys. Today they're an hour. Extra so large. I'm gonna get the extra large workout. I'm gonna head back in. Yeah, they told me that this morning. I said, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I gotta go. Gotta get back She's on going it. Back so in. I'm gonna head in okay. there. Going we'll going see you guys more. later. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Just want you to get back in there, see if she makes it. Oh, she really is going back in. Oh, I thought she was just gonna pull it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good for her. Wow, yeah.
yeah. All right, 727 right now. 739 right now. Today maybe isn't the best day to ride your bike outside with the icy conditions. But that's okay. Laura McDonald right now, she's taking a ride inside, live and local. And Russ Scheichel, she is still going strong. Look at her go. And she's coming up next, telling us all about it. Hang on. Fox Women Local News right now. There's a new gym in town offering up a new way to work out. Yeah, Rush Cycle is now open right now in Laura McDonald, live and local. And she is there to check this out and uh, tell us firsthand how things are going right now. She's uh, getting off the bike. Here she comes. She looks she's tired. moving. She's grooving. How's it going? Oh. Moving slow, but we're grooving. <laughs> hardio. Hardio. But very hardio. <laughs> got the hour class for me today. Josh and Ashley, I think we're talking nutrition, I can't remember. Yes. Right. So I had my oatmeal this morning. Would you say it's good for people to eat before they come to these classes? You need a little something in your stomach, yes, just to keep you from getting sick, uh, but you don't want to eat a heavy meal. Uh, the, big, the big thing to focus on is hydration, so we encourage all the riders to keep water with them. The bikes are actually equipped with a place to hold a water bottle, and other than that, the instructors have you drink throughout the class, and then after class, you need to consume roughly a gallon throughout the day, a gallon wow, of water yeah. doing this type of workout. <laughs> yes, you've got to make sure you're hydrated, especially here in Colorado, high yes. altitude. What about eating after? Good idea. I, mean, I don't feel like eating right now. <laughs> you won't ride after, but within about a half an hour, you want to try to consume high protein, high carbs to try and get your energy levels back up. And actually, these classes are typically 45 minutes. Yes. So, it's going to get you a good workout about how many calories are you going to burn? You're going to burn probably about 500 calories. So, it's an awesome, like, bang for your buck kind of thing. 45 minutes, high intensity, total body workout. Um, there's a warm up, cool down. The works. Right, and what I also noticed, we were right in the middle of it before I had to pop out and do my job, right? The uh, actual weightlifting is in there too. So yes. The arms and upper body. Absolutely. So we have a weight segment, so it goes from two to five pounds. Those two to five pounds get really heavy by the end of the song, but um, like I said, it's really a total body workout throughout the class. Right, for people who say, you know what, I'm not a cycler, I don't think I can get on a spin class. No, it's not. It's all about party atmosphere. You're going to get an outstanding workout, but it's all about the vibe. So you're just going to have fun, and then by the end of it, all of a sudden, 45 minutes is passed and class is over. When in doubt, sweat it out, right? Exactly. You're going to do that exactly. here. Exactly. It's got great air conditioning there, I will say. Yeah. So uh, come fill your building. Great job, guys. Time for me to head in and finish this class. At the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be back with more pedaling magic. So. Get, get, get excited for it. But I gotta go right now, finish off this class. Because they're gonna stand up and play with me. Okay, she's going back in. There she goes. Will it happen again? See you later. See you later. She's really doing it. Oh. she doing? <laughs> Putting us all to shame this morning. That's what she's doing. So, well, I came, I spun, I conquered. We are live and local from Rush Cycle. Coming up after the break. Thank you so much, Ashley. 820 right now. Are you bored with your new year, new you workout plan yet? Well, you may want to check out a new local gym. Yes, right now, Lauren is live at Rush Cycle and getting the scoop on spin. Lauren, good morning. Morning, getting scooped and catching my breath, and also check it out. Spin hair, don't care. Hey, you like it? <laughs> Looking good. That's right, guys. Special one hour class for me this morning here at Rush Cycle. Usually, classes are 45 minutes here with Ashley and Josh. Josh, you're the owner of Rush Cycle. Tell me a little bit about Rush Cycle and why it's so different here. Uh, it's so different here because we spoke, we focus so much on developing a community uh, of riders who are come in to have fun and work out, but are also very supportive of each other, so whatever your fitness goals are. Right. Actually, when I was in here riding this class, I really felt the community because everybody was moving yeah. in the same motion, high energy, high dance music. But we're going to talk a little bit more about your form because that's really important when yeah. you're on the bike. So I heard the instructor, she was spouting out all kinds of uh, different terms. 
And I kind of got it, I caught on because I was watching all you pros up front. But tell everybody kind of some of the things they'll hear and what that means when you're riding. Form is key. So the basic things that you want to do when you're out of the saddle is you always want your hips to be back. You never want your knees in front of your toes. So it's almost like you're doing a squat. You want to be elongated. You want to have your hands loose. And most importantly, you want to have your core engaged. So as you start to move, it is literally a total body workout. It's just a flow. Right? Yes, you and it should be rhythm. loose and just moving with the beat loose of the Loose as a goose, right? Yes. Except you're, you have good form. You're not flapping all over the place. No. All right, so Josh, you guys, as I said, you just opened. When people come in for their first class, they might say, you know what, I'm not into spin classes. I don't think I'm good at it. What would you say to them? I would say still come in and try it, even if you've never done it or if you've done it and you had a bad experience. This is going to be completely different from what you've been through before. You come through the door, you'll be welcome into the community, even as a new rider. Mm -hmm. And we will take the time to make sure you're set up on the bike, you know how to clip in and clip out of the pedals and quickly talk you through the moves. And then the instructors spend a considerable amount of time throughout their class actually guiding you through what needs to be done. So even if you've never done a ride like this, mm -hmm. you're not going to be left in the dark in the back of the room. Exactly. You're going to have that one-on-one -on -one attention. Yep. I noticed that in the class too. A lot of fun if you're, you're sick of your typical uh, spin class at the gym or if you're bored at home by yourself. But you guys are also giving great tips for people at home if they do own their own stationary bike, which is awesome. And you know what? They say when in doubt, pedal it out. Well, that's what I did this morning, guys. It was a blast here at Rush Cycle. We still have some more tips for stretching for when you guys leave or if you pedal it out at home. You want to make sure that you stretch your body properly so you don't get hurt. So we got Absolutely. Tips. Those hot tips coming up next, guys. Hot tips, I stretch here before we sit down and do this all day. He does. I stretch, there you yeah. Go. It's quite the sight in the newsroom. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. We just sit here like this. Are you done yet? <laughs> you help me, you know. Okay. All right. That's right. If we told you it could be fun, we're not lying. It's true. Right here, live and local at Rush Cycle, we are moving and grooving over here. You guys do not want to miss it. That's coming up next. To turn the lights down and the music up. Today we're taking a look at a new local gym. Yes, Lauren right now is live and local at Rush Cycle, taking a spin class now and learning how to feel the rush. And right now, more my page. This is the, the cool down phase, right? <laughs> yes. yes <laughs> more my pace too, Craig. And I have to let you guys know when the actual rush is happening, it feels a little bit like death. However, <laughs> you feel reborn after it's all over, right? Exactly. It's like a full full circle, circle of life. Yeah. You die and then you come back to life feeling greater than ever. Exactly. All right, so we just did this class. I'm probably going to be very sore tomorrow. There's some stretching that you're going to show me, right? Yes. So 45 minute high intensity cardio. If you guys missed it, well, I took the class and it was tough, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So. We have a uh, cool down segment of every class. It's the minimal amount of stretching that you should do. You should stretch when you get home as well. Um, but we'll just go through a couple things. So you'll come out and just walk out your legs a little bit, kind of okay. flush them out because they're a little bit tired. Okay, stop with are. <laughs> stop with your right in front of your left. Okay. Pull your hips back. You know, just stretch. Oh, yeah. Lean forward. That's a nice stretch. It is. And then just have a seat on the bike. Okay. Unclip your right foot and then put that on the handlebars. Oh and boy. then you'll go ahead and lean forward and just pull and feel uh, the hamstrings and all yes. the things stretching. Even if you bike at home, this is definitely something you should Absolutely. do or at a big box gym. Absolutely. Stretching is always key. It's, right. it's a must do after every, like, tough workout that you Definitely. do. Definitely. Well, this is yeah. tough for sure. Now, there's a leaderboard here that you guys Exactly. Have. A leaderboard that I am not on, but who knows? If I stick with it, maybe one day I'll get there, right? So we're going to meet Josh out here. Josh, the owner here of Rush Cycle. Tell me about this leaderboard that I am not on. <laughs> <laughs> so our leaderboard is just uh, where we can put up announcements for upcoming rides. This uh, Wednesday, Ashley's doing a special hip hop ride. Uh, we'll also put up notifications if there's a charity coming in or uh, any other themed rides that are going on for the week. And then over on this side is our leaders. And this is where we track the number of rides that each member is doing in a month. And then at the end of the month, our top rider actually wins a $100 credit to his account. And Very I don't nice. think anybody's going to catch Eric, a friendly at this competition. Point. That's right, right. a little Eric's friendly competition. He's, uh, he's never, he comes in 
comes to every class every day? Just about, yeah. Just about. Yeah. You're Just never going to get past <laughs> Eric, right? Probably and I bet not. he does lots of stretching after so that he makes sure he doesn't exactly. get injured. <laughs> right? Exactly. We're cycling, we are stopping to eat, then we're going to come in and we're going to repeat. Correct. That's how you get on that, that board. Yes. yes. Cardio, cardio, guys, here at Brush Cycle. Thank you guys so much for having us out. If people are want to get involved or try you out for the first free ride, how can they do that real quick? Just go to www.brushcycle.com. Come to the or click on the Colorado Springs link. First class is free for everyone. We include shoes for the first class. And just mm -hmm. come in and give it a try. Sounds like a great yeah. team bonding. Uh, I think we should we should get all of our Fox Twenty One guys out here. We can put up a team class. We'll right? do a Fox team Lauren. ride. I, I, so much fun. It looks like a lot of fun, but cardio has never been a partio, so just <laughs> take it down. Cardio <laughs> is reborn, just like your girl right here. It is a cardio cardio, I'm telling you. If you don't you believe it, that's so. why you got to come try it. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Never in my life have I been, yeah, cardio. Woo! <laughs> but maybe, maybe they've, they've figured out the secret.